Hello everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to the final map of the Ultimate Doom walkthrough on the Ultra Violence difficulty for the PC, played through Z Doom. This is Episode 4, Mission 8, Unto the Cruel. This comes to us from Proverbs 5 9. Lest thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. Now what this means is don't be around people who are mean and cruel because if you do you'll just waste your honor with them and you'll waste your years to the people who are mean you'll waste your life basically anyway let's get to the video all right so there's an imp to your left and right so take care of them both and then your only secret in this map is when you press on the twitching corpse on the left side of the room. There's a chain gun and some chain gun ammo inside this secret room. Now down the stairs, I like to have the BFG ready for this next part because when you press the switch and open the door, there's a hell of a lot of gunners on both sides of you. So fire like two or three BFG shots and then you can use the chain gun to hunt down the rest of them and kill them that way. Just make sure you go around and find all the gunners and kill them. On the right side of the room is this Baphomet wall, which, when you open it, will reveal the red key and some rockets, so grab those. On the left side of the room is another Baphomet wall, but we'll skip that for right now and just turn right. See that radiation suit down there? Run to it, to protect yourself from the lava that's down here. And then down here, I like to use the plasma gun to kill the demons and the specters that are in the lava. Notice how I just took some damage. This is a 20% damaging floor, and like I said before, 20% damaging floors can still hurt you even though you have a suit on. Now we'll open up the Baphomet wall that we skipped and we'll still have our plasma gun ready because this next part has a lot of small guys that are spread around this floor. And when they're spread out like this, it can be pretty deadly because they can pot shot you from everywhere. So, yeah. The next thing you want to do is go up these stairs and take care of the Baron of Hell over there. Once the Baron of Hell is dead, you can then use the rocket launcher or whatever other weapon you want to use on the Cacodemons, the Spectres, and the Imps that are down here. It's not that hard if you take this room in stages. We'll go down this lift later on, but for right now we'll go back the way we came because there's some items on all of these pillars over there. To get to those items, all you have to do is lower down the pillars. It's just that simple. It's almost like they give you all this ammo. And don't be shy to grab it all. There's plenty of ammo to go around. Almost too much ammo, it seems. And that's it, we grabbed all the ammo we could, we could find, so now we'll go back and we'll use the lift. I like to have the BFG ready because this hallway is rather cramped, and there's two barons of hell, and yeah, cramped hallways and barons are never a good thing. Grab the yellow key and then go up this flight of stairs. You can use the plasma gun, chain gun, whatever you want to use for this section. Another soul sphere. We'll skip this teleporter and go back to where we grab the yellow key. Because behind the yellow key is this wall that we can open up. It has a teleporter. It will take you to an unofficial secret with an invisibility. And then you can just hop down and kill the couple of shotgunners that are down here. And then take the teleporter right over here. It will take you back to the ring of gunners. Now, fire a BFG shot before you open up this wall. It will allow you to get the jump on the Baron of Hell behind that wall. Open up the red door now and do the same thing as last time. And this time, press the switch. 
Again, fire a BFG shot before opening the wall. And then behind the yellow door, yep, is another switch. Flipping both of those switches will raise up a bridge to the exit door. We are almost done with this map. I like to play this part a bit risky, but what I do is I just use rockets on the Lost Souls, and then just charge into the left side, kill this Baron of Hell, go up the stairs on the left side, and just mow my way through the enemies, grab the plasma, go back down the stairs, and then go to the right side. If I can. There's a lot of Barons down here. On the right side, just do the same thing as last time. And grab the rockets up here. And now you can kill everybody else in the central area, including the Spider Mastermind, which she is not difficult to kill at all. She's very easy. And there's the exit. But you can lower down both of these pillars for a Soul Sphere and a Mega Armor. And you can do this before the fight begins if you want. Now back where the Spider Mastermind was, against this back wall, is a room where you can grab, yeah, right here, a BFG and some plasma. So do that if you don't have the BFG first. Also, this door you can open up, but to the right of it is a teleporter that will take you back to that ring room with the gunners. I don't know why that's there, but whatever, it's there, so take it if you need to. And that's it, we're done. We grabbed everything, everything's dead. We are done with E4M8 and Ultimate Doom. The Spider Mastermind must have sent forth its legions of Hellspawn before your final confrontation with that terrible beast from Hell. But you stepped forward and brought forth eternal damnation and suffering upon the Horde as a true hero would in the face of something so evil. Besides, someone was going to pay for what happened to Daisy, your pet rabbit. But now, you see spread before you more potential pain and gibbitude as a nation of demons run amuck among our cities. Next stop, Hell on Earth. And that is where Doom 2 Hell on Earth takes place. It takes place after Episode 4 of Ultimate Doom. And here we have a picture of Doom Guy with his face looking very determined, very upset, and it looks like he's ready to kick more of Hell's ass. It looks like he's only just begun. He's ready for more right now. Right here, right now. And behind Doom Guy, we see a big city with tall skyscrapers, and the city is burning. The city is on fire. The demons have invaded our cities, and they're running amok. And it's up to Doom Guy now to put an end to all of this suffering. And Doom Guy, he's ready. He's got his shotgun ready in his hand, and in his other hand, he's got his pet rabbit's head, Daisy. And then we got the big gash on Doom Guy's forehead. It looks painful, and I'm sure if you were to ask Doom Guy, gosh, Doom Guy, doesn't that hurt? I'm sure he'd tell you, sure it do. But I don't care. I don't care at all because that's just how badass Doom Guy is. He's ready to kick Hell's ass again. Anyway, that was the end of Episode 4, Mission 8, Unto the Cruel, and the end of Ultimate Doom. Now about this map, I find it easy. A bit too easy. But let me talk about the gameplay first. I love the gameplay. It's got lots of gameplay in it. In fact, this map is one of my favorites of Episode 4, even though it's very, very easy. But like I said, it is too easy. They give you a lot of ammo and a lot of health, and the enemies really aren't that dangerous. I guess the hardest part of the whole room is the exit room and the room where you teleport to after opening up that Baphomet wall. That's it. Aside from that, everything else is easy. 
But like I said, the gameplay of this map, I like it. I really do. It's a great map. Well designed, too. Now about this game. <laughs> Gosh, what do you want me to say about this game? It's wonderful. It... If there was ever a video game where I had to say this is the best game ever made, I would probably say Ultimate Doom. Ultimate Doom is the best game ever made. Now, understand something, I like the Plutonia experiment better than Ultimate Doom. But that's as far as gameplay goes. Plutonia has better gameplay. Ultimate Doom is automatically labeled as a classic, and when a game, at least in my opinion, is labeled as a classic, it's better than any other game out there. And Doom is a classic. It started it all. Well, not really started it all. It boosted forward the first-person shooter genre. This is it. This was the game that did it. And it's still just as fun as it was when it first came out, which was... Well, 20 years ago. It came out in 1993, didn't it? Yeah, so it's still fun as hell to play, even to this day. And will always be fun as hell to play. I'll be playing this when I'm old and gray in the nursing home. And, I'm, and I have my walker. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough, and until the next walkthrough, I'm Big Mac Davis, and I will see you guys in the next walkthrough. <laughs> so I'll just get out of here right now. See you guys later on. Thank you for watching.